Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. And in the last episode, guys, unfortunately, Thomasina got the cold shoulder and no one came to visit her that night in the inn. Um, not only that, our primary contact uh, disappeared and we were visited by a very creepy cat. But uh, things are starting to look up just a little bit. It's daytime. We're exploring the town of uh, Bewley. So uh, let's go ahead and continue on. We already talked to the blacksmith, the brother and sister out here. Guess we could go ahead and travel to the church. Oh, that's not creepy at all. The woman has a kind face. Does she, though? Cakes, a memorial plaque. In memory of William Ager. In memory of Peter Black. In memory of George Paxton. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. In memory of Mabel Hurst. In memory of Percival Roach. I wonder if these are going to come into play later. In memory of Benjamin Garkham. In memory of Romeo Hegg. Dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Aww. In memory of Millicent Smith. In memory of Henry Crozier. The trusty trowel, the barrow digger's best friend. Excuse me, do you think anyone would mind if I borrowed this trowel? You help yourself, dear. Father Roach won't mind lending it. Just be sure to put it back when you're finished. Of course, thank you. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Okay, now we'll go ahead and have a chat. Hello. Good day. Would you like to buy one of these cakes, pet? What kind of cakes do you have? I have some lovely Bakewell puddings. The sweetest marriage of almond and jam. I can tell you're not from around here, because if you were, you would know about my Bakewell puddings. They are quite famous. Alas, I'm not carrying any money with me. That's unfortunate, pet. I'm sorry, I, I can't give them away for free. The money goes to the church, you see, and one cannot shirk one's duty to the church. I understand. Just having a nice little bake sale here. My name is Thomasina. What's yours? This is De Plancy. A pleasure to meet you, Mrs. De Plancy. Likewise, pet. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. De Plancy. About me? <laughs> What would you possibly want to know about me? I have been attending St. Edmund's Church my whole life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. Your cakes look delicious. I can assure you they are. You'll not find better in the entire county. What can you tell me about St. Edmund's Church? Isn't it the finest building? It's been standing here since the 12th century. Wow. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Thank you, Mrs. De Plancy. Do you know a local man called Leonard Shoulder? Yes, I know Leonard. What business do you have with him? It's a long story, but I'm trying to find where he lives. I'm afraid I don't know, dear. Father Roach has access to the parish register. He might be able to help you. What can you tell me about Father Roach? He is a lovely man and an exemplary servant of the Lord. He's been the vicar of St. Edmunds for many years. Where can I find Father Roach? At this time of day, he'll be taking his exercise in Hearn Wood, to the west of the village. Thank you. I'll go find him. 
Be sure to listen out for his merry whistling. Such a jolly man. What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? Hobbs what? Hobbs Barrow, a local burial mound. The only place of burial I know about and care for is in this very churchyard. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Okay, what else did we have here? We had the entrance to the church. Whoa. Well, here's the uh, graveyard she was talking about. I think we actually should go explore the church while the father is away. And those must be the woods. Oh, there's the merry whistling. It's locked. Okay, here are the box pews from the 17th century. Extraordinary craftsmanship. The pews are contained within compartments that can be locked. I've seen a similar design in other Norman churches around England, but this is a particularly impressive example. Is, th is that a necklace? Hmm. Someone has left a necklace hanging here. A silver cross. Sterling by the look of it. Maybe I can reunite it with its owner. Good against werewolves and vampires. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred years. Those have seen better days. The flowers have long since dried out. I don't want them. Stained glass depictions of various biblical scenes. It's not my specialist area. This must be where the local vicar sacrifices the newborns. I've no time for such things. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that could be there, Thomasina. I can admire the craftsmanship from afar. Alrighty. Locked. Oh. Locked as well. I think they all might be. Oh, we were trying to move the box pews. I didn't even think about that. That's probably going to be a puzzle a little bit later on. Well, let's see if this is uh, her necklace. Excuse me, I found this necklace inside the church. Is it yours? No, pet. Perhaps someone left it behind yesterday. You keep hold of it for now. I'll ask around at the next service. Are you sure? I trust you. All right. Well, let's head into the woods. I know we've got plenty of time to explore here, but I like how the game's telling us, hey, this is where you go next. There'll be plenty of time to get lost later. <laughs> Such a jolly fellow. There you go. Get that all out of your system. I'm very sorry. Oh, the shame. This malaise will not pass. Oh, the nausea. I need your help, young lady. Tell me what you need. Let the blood from my arm. Excuse me? Caught me. I beg you. I don't have anything to cut you with, though. The vicar looks dreadfully ill. Vomit, spectacles... Are you sure this is the only way, Father? I beg you! It's the only cure for this torturous malady! Is this your cross? I don't think it's sharp enough. Ew. 
The trowel's blade is dull and rusted. I need something that will provide a cleaner cut. Okay, matchbox, the key, the handkerchief. We've got nothing sharp and pointy. I don't wish to look too closely. The vicar's spectacles lie broken on the forest floor. Ouch! The broken lens is extremely sharp. Oh, well, there we go. Ouch! The broken lens is extremely sharp. Perhaps I shouldn't risk soiling this glove until I find its owner. Ah, it's either that or the handkerchief. This handkerchief was a gift from my mother. I hope she will understand. This should work. Okay. Time for some good old-fashioned bloodletting. Are you sure you want me to do this? Yes, it will cure me of my ills. I shall do as you ask, father. Yeah, that ain't bad. The blood letter achievement unlocked. Oh, yeah, the backup. Thank the Lord for my spare pair. God bless you. I already feel quite better. I'm glad, Father. The rapid healing properties of bloodletting cannot be overstated. I'm Frederick Roach, vicar of St. Edmund's Church. My Whoops. I did not mean to right-click. I'm sorry, guys. Are you feeling better? Yes. Thank you. What ails you, Father Roach? I... I just ate a rotten berry. That's all. I like to pick blackberries for my supper, you see. They are quite delicious, as long as you mind the bramble. My apologies again. I wish we had met in different circumstances. I have a tendency of my middle finger to twitch, and I just right-clicked. Against my will. Are you from Bewley originally? I was born in our very own St. Edmunds. It's quite the story. Do tell. My mother was sheltering there as a frightful tempest raged. And lo, did her waters break right there and then in that pew. One could say that you were born into your role, Father. <laughs> Indeed. When my mother told me the story as a young boy, I knew that this was my calling. I've heard worse origin stories. St. Edmund's is a fine building. Thank you for saying so. It's hard work keeping her in good shape, but our congregation is always willing to lend a hand in the Lord's name. What is it like being the vicar here? Every day is a blessing, my child. I have a great love for our parish, and the Lord looks after us. What about your congregation? Numbers have fallen over the years, I must say. But those that remain are faithful and full of his spirit. What can you tell me about Bewley? It's a quiet town. The railway line, which I presume you arrived by, is the only news of note we've had here for years. I've heard the new station has received a mixed reaction. <laughs> I've heard many a debate, it's true. But my role is not to adjudicate on that matter. I'm very busy in my own work, you see. I'm looking for Mr. Leonard's shoulder. Oh, yes. Are you a relative? No, it's a long story, but he invited me to Bewley. And he didn't tell you his address? He was to meet me last night at the Plough and Furrow, but he never came. I see. Well, let me welcome you to Bewley on his behalf. Thank you, Father. Do you know where Mr. Shoulder lives? Let me think. It's been many moons since I've paid him a visit. Many moons. Perhaps you could allow me to take a look at the parish register? No need. I remember it now. A fair hike across the moors. Could you please give me directions? I'll take you there myself. It's the least I can do after you waited me so. Capital. Thank you. Just let me know when you're ready to pay him a visit. I'll be resting here for the time being. 
What do you know of Hobbs Barrow? I can't say I've heard of it. It's supposedly a famous local landmark. I'm afraid I know nothing about it. Sus. Thank you for your time. Lord be with you. Now, I want to explore the area that he was at. I'm not going near it. It smells disgusting. I'm just going to see what you were up to, Father. There's... I have no desire to go rooting about in there. No doubt home to many a woodland creature. I shall see you later this evening, gents. Well, I say. Greetings, my dear. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait! Yep. Some nerve. Okay. Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. <laughs> Mr. Darcy? The men look like they've spent many a long day exposed to the harsh moorland weather. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. If you say so. I do. I'm sorry, but it's not safe to walk through here while we're working. By order of Lord Panswick. My name is Thomas Cena Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomas Cena Bateman. No, just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. I bet that was the distinguished Lord Panswick. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Bewley. Aye, uh, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions. Or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. That could be his son, too. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods? Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Beoli. How futile. Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. Looks like the uh, father may have some competition. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? No. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. See if anything changed. All right, well, let's go ahead and see if he knows who the cross belongs to. I found this necklace inside the church. Do you know who it belongs to? Many in our congregation wear such things. I'll announce it at the next service. Do you mind if I keep hold of it until then? Not at all. Okay. Oh. What do you know of Lord Panswick? Oh, yes. A rather important fellow around here. His vast land holdings give many a steady employment. I hear he is renovating an old chapel on his land. Aye, I've heard such reports. He believes this to be a godless land. Something I wholeheartedly disagree with. To which god his chapel will be dedicated to remains a matter of concern. Why do you say that? Oh, my apologies. Don't listen to my oafish conjecture. Let us move on. Yeah. A little bit of competition there. Now, um, someone mentioned in the comments, and I was thinking about this too, that the guy that we chased into the rain 
after getting through that bathroom door, that could have been shoulder as well, but he just left. So I'm kind of very curious to meet this man. I'm ready to go to Mr. Shoulder's house. Excellent. I feel the fresh air will do me well. Follow me. Pay attention to the path. Good morning, father. Good morning, Mrs. De Plancy. Mrs. De Plancy, this is Thomasina Bateman, a visitor to our parish. We've already had the pleasure of meeting, father. Excellent. Miss Bateman, don't hesitate to try one of Mrs. De Plancy's wonderful cakes. Yes, I've heard about her famous Bakewell puddings. I'll be here all day, young lady. But remember, once they're gone, they're gone. Those little whelps have already gobbled up all the gingerbread. You are doing God's work, Mrs. De Plancy. He smiles upon us, Father. Miss Bateman, if you'd like to follow me. Once we have some money. Let's talk of graves, of worms, and epitaphs. Make dust our paper. And with rainy eyes, write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. Shakespeare? Quite. Which play? Uh... Um, it's either Hamlet or Macbeth. I can't remember it off the top of my head. <laughs> the Scottish play. I guess I could always Google it, but let's be as clueless as her. Let's say executors because the king died in Hamlet. Hamlet? Magnificent guess, Miss Bateman, but I'm afraid that passage is from Richard II. Don't. Oh. Studying the work of the Bard is one of my favorite pastimes. Follow me. I'm out of practice. Ooh. Behold, the vast expanse of God's creation. The moors extend as far as the mortal eye can see. Beautiful, is it not? I think I think moors are pretty, so. Indeed, the moors are beautiful. The beauty of God's creation is that it takes so many forms. How can one take in such a view and not have faith? Some look at these moors and think this a godless land. But I tell you, he is found in all domains. The Lord's work is all about us. Tell me, Miss Bateman, do you believe in God? You might want to avoid a tense situation. No, let's go ahead and be truthful. I was brought up Anglican. The church was an important part of my early life, Father Roach. But what happened to my father eventually made me question things. If you don't mind me asking, my child, what happened to your father? He had an accident when I was very young. Ooh, flashback times. All right. Come along now, Thomasina. Let's get out of the rain. So we've got nurses. Remember what I told you, all right? Be a good girl. People are unwell here. They don't want to hear you running about making noise. Understood? Yes, Mother. Good. And don't annoy the nurses. I promise I won't. Good. Now, let's see your father. Now, is this a mental ward? Because this is the building she went into at the beginning of the game. Daddy is sleeping. Daddy, 
wake up. Poor. Mummy is crying. Mummy? Mummy? Good evening, Mr. Bateman. Hello, little one. You must be Thomasina? Y yes My name is Nurse Blaketon. I just need to talk to your mummy for a little bit. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Bateman. Mrs. Bateman? Will he ever talk again, Nurse Blaketon? The doctor is uncertain, Mrs. Bateman. There is the possibility that Mr. Bateman won't regain any movement at all. But we will do our utmost to look after Mr. Bateman here at Ticehurst, ma'am. He will have a nurse by his side at all times, I can assure you. Okay. Man, her model looks very skeletal, the nurse. What sort of god would allow this fate to befall such a kind and honest man? I'm sorry to hear this. God moves in mysterious ways. But he loves us all. Hmm. Come along now. See, that wasn't as awkward as it could have been. It does intrigue me as to why Thomasine is heading back to the hospital at the beginning of the Hello? game. Hello? She scampered off in a hurry? Who was that? Some primitive folk make their home out on the moors. I suggest you keep your wits about you when you are exploring. And don't stray too far from Bewley. I see. How much farther to Mr. Shoulder's house? Still quite a walk, I'm afraid. But we'll get to him soon enough. And you notice... Well, then, take a look at this. Ooh. Notice how the father had his head down when he saw the girl. Legend has it that this cairn has stood here for over a thousand years. How remarkable. The Devil's Toe. I beg your pardon? That's what it's called. The Devil's Toe. Oh, I see. Come now. Onward. Looks accurate. We walked and walked across that vast, featureless landscape. All the while, Father Roach was whistling away merrily. Just as I had begun to wonder if we were hopelessly lost, a building emerged from the mist. Mr. Shoulder's cottage. Here we are, Miss Bateman. Unless my memory fails me completely, this is Mr. Leonard Shoulder's house. Thank you for your help, Father Roach. Now, now. No need to thank me after your providential assistance today. However, I have something to ask you. Yes? Please don't tell Mrs. De Plancy about my little scene in the woods. She will only fret. The poor dear woman has enough on her mind as it is. I shan't mention it. Thank you. You'd better see if Mr. Shoulder is in. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do a little bit of exploring around before we knock on the door. Hey, one glove. That glove looks familiar. I wonder if it matches the glove I found behind the plow and furrow. So that probably was him. The gloves are a pair. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was in the alley last night? Why didn't he come inside to see me? Hmm. I love the mystery of this so far. I hope you guys are too. Um, I think we'll go ahead and end it here. When we get back, we'll uh, knock on the door and see if Mr. Shoulder is in. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.